Hey, what's up, boxers? This is Zach Rizet with BuildBox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do another user interface animation, and it's going to be an opacity change animation. And let me show you real quick what that's going to look like. So I'm going to start this preview over here uh, again, but I want you to look at the buttons at the bottom, okay? Because they're going to start off as invisible, and then I'm also going to show you how to do an opacity change on the play button. You can see that the play button is pulsing and it's scaling in and out right now, but it's also dealing with an opacity change, okay? About halfway through it gets a little bit lighter and I'm gonna show you how to do that as well but let me go ahead and restart the preview and check out the buttons at the bottom okay see how they start off as invisible and then they really slowly become visible to the player I'm gonna show you how to do that right now okay so first what I need to do is I need to actually cancel I need to get rid of the animations that I've already done so I'm gonna really really quickly first I'm gonna go over here to the idle event okay I'm gonna make sure that I've got that clicked and then I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the play button. And right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the animation editor, which is really use, a really useful tool. And you'll want to get used to this when you're, using, uh, when you're doing UI animations. OK, um, so I'm going to open up the animation editor. And I want to show you something real quick. There's actually a couple different things that you can animate in a user interface. You can move uh, things around using the X and Y position. You can rotate things around using rotation. You can also make things larger and smaller using scale in the X and Y. But today I'm going to show you how to do the opacity change, which is making things a little bit more visible and less visible. You can also make things completely invisible as well. So I'm going to select opacity right now, and then I'm going to grab these little markers. I'm going to select these little green dots here and I'm just gonna delete them right now so that's deleting the opacity animations okay so that's taken care of so I'm gonna drop this menu back down here and then I'm gonna go over here to my open event and this is the open animation and I'm going to take a I'm gonna get rid of the markers on the animation here for the uh, for these buttons here at the bottom okay so let me go ahead and open these up. So real fast, I'm going to open up the animation editor. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete these animations real fast. OK. So I should, it should reset. OK, perfect, it is. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to keep selecting these. And I'm going to, it's really, really easy. I just delete the markers on the bottom. And then you go to another frame and it resets it. OK. You got to switch to another frame and then it, and then it, it fixes it up. OK. Cool. So you can see now as I press play that there's nothing going on with the buttons down there. OK, and real quick, let's take a look at the preview. And I'm going to show you this again. So when it starts uh, and when it opens up, it, the buttons are not going to be invisible. They should be visible right from the beginning. OK, and so take a look what I mean here. OK, right from the beginning, the second you open up the main menu, it's just right there in your face. OK, but let me show you how to elegantly uh, turn the visibility up. And it, it's a kind of a cool effect. So I'm going to exit out of here. And this is really fast, actually, to do. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit Command on my keyboard. Um, you can also hit uh, Control on your keyboard if you're using a Windows computer or a PC. Uh, for Mac, you have to use Command. And I'm going to hit the Record button down here in the bottom. I'm going to go to my 40th frame. And I'm going to go to Opacity. And I'm just going to hit Enter. All right, it's really simple. And then I go over here to my 0 frame. And I, go, and I change the Opacity to 0. So it's going to start off uh, in the beginning as completely invisible, and then it's going to become visible at by the 40th frame. All right, and I'll real quickly I'll just show you uh, that right here. I'll press play, and you can see that it becomes uh, visible nice and slowly, and it looks pretty cool. Okay, so that's the that's what you do for the opening animation. Now let's go ahead and change the idle animation real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and select the play button here in the middle, and it's really simple. I'm just going to go over here to my zero frame. I'll go to opacity. I'll hit enter. I'll go to my 80th frame. I'll go to opacity and hit enter, and then go to my 40th frame. And uh, I'm going to go to my 40th frame, and then I'm going to go to the opacity and change it to 0.5. 
okay? So now it's gonna become just a little bit lighter, a little bit less visible once it reaches that middle part of the animation. All right, now that should go ahead and take care of it. Let's go ahead and hit the play button, the preview button, and you can watch, and you can see that the buttons on the bottom, they slowly become visible, and then the, the play button in the middle, that also, not only does it scale and uh, get bigger and smaller, but it also changes the opacity. It kind of lightens up a little bit about halfway through the animation. And I'll go ahead and I'll pr preview this one more time so you can see. And I think that looks pretty sweet. I, like, I think that looks pretty nice. So that's something that you can add to your UI animations or your game over animations, or um, I'm, I mean your game over UI. So uh, yeah, there's lots of different things that you can do with UI animations. So definitely take advantage of that. All right, boxers, I'm going to head out. I hope this video was useful. If you want to see more videos like this, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel. All right, see you later, boxers. Like and subscribe.